Count of Caregna, or Amedio Avogadro, was born in an old town in Italy called the Turin. He was born on 9th of August 1776. His family were known as the noble and respected family of Pitman Sardonia. He was the only child in the family. His father, Count Filippo Avogadro, was a lawyer and government leader in Pitman. His mother is a noblewoman named Anna Maria Versalon. Avogadro was gifted with intelligence and known as a genius man. At such a young age, when he is 20 years old, he succeeded in getting the same name of his father. Amazingly, Avogadro also earned degrees in law and began to practice as an ecclesiastical lawyer. As the time goes by, Avogadro began to lose interest in legal manner and set his eyes for studying what was known as the natural science philosophy, which means physics and mathematics. When he was 30 years old, he started teaching math and physics at high school in Turin. He married to Felicita Mazes and blessed with six sons. He became a senior teacher at the College of Versailles and a professor in the University of Turin. But lost his job in 1823 due to political turmoil. In early 1800s, Avogadro's research about particles, atoms, and molecules were very limited and frequently incorrect. Avogadro was eager to find out a few of the basic properties of matter behave and form chemical compound with the help of John Dalton and Joseph Gay Luzet's theories. John Dalton published his atomic theory regarding all matter made of atoms. He also proposed that all atoms of an element are identical and atoms of different elements have different mass. However, some of his theories got mistake, such as the chemical formula of water is HO instead of H2O. Fortunately, Avogadro figured out the proper way of writing the water compound, which is H2O. Sir Gay Luzek, a publisher of Luzek's gas law, states that the volume of gases undergoing a reaction at constant pressure and temperature are in a simple ratio to each other and to that of the product. But Luzek come in a confusion when two liters of H2 gas react with one liter of O2 gas. It produces two liters of gases water instead of three liters. Avogadro corrected his theory by stating that the volume decreases when the number of particles present decreases, as hydrogen atom is smaller than oxygen atom. All of Avogadro's work was not appreciated by the scientists at the time. Four years after Avogadro's death, Stanislaw Canizaro tried to represent Avogadro's work in Karlsruhe Conference after he found out that Avogadro's theory was the one that is correct. After a few years later, Avogadro's theory was widely accepted and now recognized as the Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law states that equal volumes of all gases at the same temperature and pressure have the same number of molecules. For a given mass of an ideal gas, the volume and amount of the gas are directly proportional if the temperature and pressure are constant. In daily life, the Avogadro's law is simply applied when we pump a flat basketball. The air from the pump are forced into the ball until it becomes inflated. The pumps are actually forcing more gas molecules into it and fills the inside of the ball. When human inhale, the chest expands and the diaphragm contracts, 
making a large space in the lungs. The large space creates a low pressure in the lungs. The higher pressure at the atmosphere pushes the air into the lungs that has lower pressure. Other than that, Avogadro's law can be proved by conducting an experiment using carbonated drinks such as cola, menthol candy, and a balloon. First, the balloon is placed on top of the open bottle of cola. When menthol candy is put inside the cola drink, a quick reaction will occur and CO2 gas will be released. The volume of CO2 will increase and fills the space inside the balloon. As a result, the size of the balloon increases. You can also prove Avogadro's law by using candle and colored water. Light the candle inside a basin that is surrounded with narrow colored water. Close the candle using a glass jar and colored water will enter the glass jar. You can also conduct an experiment on a ping pong ball. A dented ping pong ball is put inside a basin. Hot water is then poured into the basin and we can see the ping pong ball is expanded back to its original shape. This situation obeys the law of Avogadro. Last but not least, with the help of Avogadro's law, scientists can explore and study more about particles and found many more compounds exist. From this law, humans have invented technologies that apply Avogadro's law of gas followed by the ideal gas laws. Now, human can understand why balloon can fly, why flat ball can be inflated, and flat car tire can move again.